Yeah. All right, here we go. Supply side, supply side source connections, 705.11. <laughs> okay, interconnect electric power production sources, supply side source connections. So let me see if I got here. Power production source, okay, I'm gonna use PV as an example that the output conductors of the inverter is what I'm gonna be connecting to the utility. So I'm making that interconnection, okay. So now I'm making a connection from this PV system and this is on the supply side. Now, here's your service disconnecting means. So I'm making this connection on before this disconnecting means. So this is a supply side connection. So let's read the language. Where electric power production source is connected on the supply side of the utility service disconnecting means. Here's the service disconnecting means. This connection right here obviously is before that disconnect, not after the disconnect. Then we have to comply with 705.12.11, A through E. Hold and just, on. just a note on that, on that diagram there. Um, you've got a meter base there, and, and uh, I, I think that's legal from the National Electrical Code point of view. There are some utilities that may question using double barrel lugs within a meter base. Uh, others will allow it, so it's just just something to be aware of. We're not trying to make any statement here as to whether that's going to be uh, legal in your territory. Well, it, it, it's legal per the code, yeah. whether it's permitted by the utility. So if you can't make it, let's say, hey, listen, that's our meter can. Well, I bought it. Yeah, we don't really care. You know, I mean, we want to control that, so we don't make it or no connection. Okay, well now you're going to have to go over to this disconnect or put a, a wire away or do something, a box to make that supply side connection. So however, sure. I have to do it, Brian. I think something that I've really become aware of just in this code cycle, and and I think Bill has said some things that have really helped me. Um, and I don't want to say it was ever I was adversarial with the utility, but always aggravated with all the utilities' little requirements that they have. And and as you start looking at this, you have to realize that, you know, and, and I think you're the one that actually said this to me, they're a totally separate industry with different needs. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to join two, even though they're related industries, two completely separate industries together and connect systems. And they're not really necessarily happy that we're connecting our systems to their stuff. Um, and, you know, we're not really necessarily happy. We have to connect to their stuff. And so there's a little friction there. And, and like you said, I think there's a lot of times we're like, well, I'm an electrician and I'm looking at the double lug and I'm going, man, how else would you want to connect it ever? And, and how convenient like, and efficient. And, and yeah, and Bill's like, hey, listen, splicing. they might not allow you to. And, and yesterday when you brought up the NESC and you're talking, well, you know, they've got their own codes and that's why the switch has to have an air gap and that's their requirement. And I'm sitting here going, you know, there's probably a reason why they don't want those double lugs in there. And I, so I'm going to be a little less irritable when I'm trying to deal with a utility knowing, well, you know, there's probably a reason why they're doing this. Well, listen, we know how it works, right? Mm -hmm. Wires come in on the line side and wires leave, okay? And that's it. Right. Now, you're actually having some other wires actually not leaving, but actually coming in. And it's bringing in electricity and we're not trained for that. And if you want to do whatever you want to do, keep it out of our box. Because there's no reason, and I can appreciate, just don't make it in our box. Do whatever you got to do, but don't confuse us because now the electrons are going the other direction. So I can see that. Bill? I mean, uh, Jimmy? Yeah, so, so if I can, Mike, just a little preface before we go into 705.11. And 705.11 was new. We spent a lot of time working on it, and it was in response to overwhelming demand that CMP4 was receiving from the electrical profession mostly from the enforcement community saying, hey, we're getting all this stuff out there where they're making these connections, they're using NM cable, they're doing other things to make these connections ahead of the service main. And community by community, they would like making up their own rules on how they should handle that. This is in response to that. And as you know, Mike, we included, because you, you were actually there at that meeting when we were working on the bonding and grounding portion of this that later got taken out at the annual meeting. but. I just wanted to lay the groundwork. As people are watching this, they should understand this was in response to industry outcry for a good set of regulations on how we make these connections. How are we making the connections? All right, now, now this is the perfect time, I think, to discuss this. It's not related to 705, but it's related to 705 in that if you're making a supply-side connection, 
These conductors that's going into the PV system disconnect, okay? These are not service conductors as per the definition of Article 100 definition of service conductors. So this is not a service disconnect. These are not service conductors because service conductors per 100 are from the utility that terminate to the service disconnecting means. And so we don't know what to do with this because it's a supply side connection. 250.25, which is panel five of another set of group of guys, they dictate how do you provide the bonding and grounding of equipment that's connected to the supply side of service equipment. And 250.25 tells you to go to 250.24, and 250.24 is how you do it for a service. So now, let me give an example here. Let's take a look at the service rules. Okay, 250.24C says that you have to bring a neutral over to the service equipment enclosure and you have to bond that neutral. You with me? That's 250.24C. So you have to bring a neutral to the enclosure and bond it for the service equipment. Well, if this supply side connection has to comply with 250.25 and 250.25 says comply with 250.24, then we are required to bring a neutral to the PV system disconnect or whatever other uh, power production equipment you're disconnecting means, and you are required to bond that neutral. Now, I showed a plastic raceway, and we probably should put some, uh, maybe some insulating bushings on there because if it's four gauge and larger, so let's put insulating bushings on all these. If it's four gauge and larger, we'd have to have insulating bushings. Uh, and if you, now there's nothing in the language of the 2020 code to tell you, but if you put a metal raceway, you see right here, this metal raceway? Well, that's 25094. And 25094 says we need to have bonding bushings, bonding jumper, bonding lock nuts. And if you zoom in on there, there's a bonding lock nut there. And here's a metal nipple. And let's say we need to, we need to bond that metal nipple. Well, I could put a bonding lock nut on 25094B if there are no concentric and concentric knockouts. If this was a metal nipple, then I don't know what to do. Brian, let's make a public input because this is not a service raceway. It does not contain service conductors. So 25094 is not specifically identified. So I didn't want to show metal raceway because I, I can't show bonding lock nuts because it's not required, but I don't want to show a metal raceway and not show bonding something because it, it, why would I not do it there, do it here? So. My suggestion is run plastic and then pull a neutral in there and then bond that neutral to that enclosure. So that is what's required for the disconnected means. So your supply side connection, you bring a neutral to that supply side connection, disconnected means you bond the neutral to that enclosure. Now we don't need to do any grounding of that enclosure because that neutral is connected to the service neutral and that service neutral already is, is grounded. So there's no grounding electrode required for the PV system disconnect. Well, the PV system, we talked about that, I think it was 69047 actually, I think 47A, said that the equipment grounding conductor for the PV system can serve as the grounding means and no other grounding connection is going to be required on that. So, so run your neutral, put your bonding jumper. So Mike, I'm sorry to throw a little fly in the ointment here, but... Um, uh, in the 2020 code, they changed the definition of a service. And uh, I did not know that. Yeah, uh, Brian, and pop so that if up. We, we look at the definition of a service. It looks like the wires coming off the bottom of that that meter base over to our disconnecting means are service part conductors. of the service. Yeah, they changed. Put the word connecting. They put connecting. And so, read, if you're, read me the definition. If you're physically connected to but, the service conductors. The conductors and the equipment connecting the serving utility it used to say from. Now it says connecting the serving utility to the wiring system of the premise serve. Read it, that again. <laughs> yeah, I'll read it and then I'll tell uh, you Brian, something. You bring, bring, bring it up on the screen. Yeah, too. I, I, my brain is like. Let's see this. here. I don't count the PV system. Service got it right here. The conductors and equipment equipment connecting the serving utility to the wiring system of the premises. Wiring I don't system. consider that a wiring system. 
Well, well then what do you call it? Okay, I, I don't know. Um, how does this affect anything? Well, let's, let, let me go backwards this one for a second. We're going to come back to this. I don't think this is a service disconnecting means, right? This is a PV system disconnecting means because the so service disconnecting means are limited to six per service. So we're not counting the PV system as a service disconnecting means. Are we agree with that, Bill, Jim? We, can't, we don't count the PV system as part of the service, one of the six 